Hmm. What's the problem? Well, uh, let's see. We've got two masters there. Nothing but sentries here. Nothing but physicians here. Nothing but dietitians here. One thing you might be noticing. Six? Two? What's the point of any something that pathetically weak when I'm dealing with stuff so much greater? Easy. It's quantity, not quality, that matters. So yes, if I was after going after getting the uh, res up as high as possible, then yes, it would make sense to put physicians in there. But physicians and res is not what I'm after. Instead, what I'm after is SP. There's just one problem, though. I don't have a single item in here that's dedicated for masters. I don't see a single one, and I always have it as the fists because that's always going to be the first thing you'll see. So, in this case, since I have some here, I might as well transfer. Those are the only masters that I currently have available. The only ones. So, transfer them for now. You will have to fill up this item entirely with nothing but the one specialist that you want to max out. And one thing you might consider is, uh, okay, so that went through the item and it's already floor 9 and I still haven't gotten a single specialist to appear at all, even with using the mystery rooms. You only have one option. Quit and reload. Yep. You all have to do that quite often when it comes to perfecting items. So, I need to accumulate some masters. And there are ways of doing that. <clears throat> one of the best ways is to go through the shops and try to find stuff that's got some good items. The general shop's always got to have something that works. Like in this case, that's two right there. You need a grand total of eight of them. Seems like a lot, yes. But fairy dust, yes, that'll also work. Masters are hard to find, so yes, do expect it to take quite some time to do. Okay, these are the three items. This one I'll be working on later, I'll just surround that by an exit. So, what we need to do now is get some weak specialists. In this case, even if you have to go past floor 10, go ahead and do so. You must get a total of 8 masters. Do not combine either, but of course, always save. Highly recommended that you save. Now, unlike before, do not combine the resonance. Remember, it's quantity of them, not quality. So, and like before, just zip through the item. And enemies this week, there's really no point in dealing with them. I always use low power to specialist because that way I'm not tempted to end up transferring them into my own items. Because after all, I really can't make use of two. But notice how fast I'm going through these? I haven't seen some of these enemies in classes in quite a long time either. It's only the rank one ghost and uh... Oh, well, here's a problem. Even with this thing's crazy high move, it's out of range. One, two, three, four, five, six. And thus, the only thing you can do in this case is to move it out one panel. Of course, if you have to do a tower lift, go ahead and do that. Yeah. Lift, throw. And do note, you can also do diagonal throws just like that. And now, it's in range. Of course, if... Remember, that that character, that particular class can throw six panels. 
but it's actually seven panels that you gained. Seven. Though do note that you have a small risk of it being six panels with the throw when you're doing diagonal, so do be careful with that. Always overestimate if you have to. But sometimes things like that will indeed happen. Hmm. Hmm. What do you know? Rank 39 item. Hey, not bad. I immediately recognized that, in case you didn't notice. As soon as I saw that blue glow, I knew it was a rank 39 axe. Of course, this case is guarded, and it's rather distant. Move minus two. And you can actually go on such dangerous spaces like that. There is one thing, though. Whatever you do... Do not use end turn. Use only execute. So if you can clear the floor before, the, of course, if you can clear the floor before that actually takes any effect, then well, you get the idea. You're safe there. Or you can also run to that gate. That works too. And of course, there's always the option of lift throw, moving that character off. <laughs> <clears throat> Delete anyway. There's one of the specialists from Floor 9. You leveled up on these weak things? Good boy. And when you get to a floor that's a multiple of 10, I highly recommend clearing it. And there's actually a very good reason for that. What's at rank item zero? You'll need a lot of those things. But my method will actually pretty much guarantee that even if you have only five exits in stock right now, you can actually still perfect an item. The only way you can do that is by clearing floor 10. Every time. Of course, I happen to have uh, way too many exits. Clearing the floor will take some time, though, just so you know. I'm so used to figure damage. What a nice arrangement there. My own ally. Now this is crazy. Look how much SP that uses. That's fire weak. That's fire resistant and magic resistant. And guess what? That wizard is so powerful, it's guaranteed 8 figure damage. I can even one shot the item got 2. That is how powerful that wizard of mine is. And that's even without the Rosalind boost. There's no attack plus pyramid, 
No magic boost effects. Nothing. But that thing's raw power. Wizards are very effective for cleaning up battlefields. Because they can get multiple targets very well. You will not need the item assembly chicken on this cheap item. Cheap slash worthless item. But I only got one master. Hmm. So, I need to return and resume. But hey, I got another exit. And what do you know? First thing, and I get the other one. How disappointing. Well, usually, sometimes when I get them unusually fast like that, I usually end up preferring to just exit out. Especially if it's on within the first two floors. But remember, it's quantity. Now, keep continuing this until you get every single one of those masters. Until you, you must have exactly eight. Extras won't do you any good. Coming short won't do you any good. Yeah. 